Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yeah, happy Wednesday. Yeah, and welcome back to the Daily Vibe with Rocks. Hey, Aunt. <laughs> Doing our normal things we do every morning, which is feeding the animals. Uh, Anthony has already fed the dogs and the cats, so we won't be dealing with those today. No. While we're feeding the other animals. Yeah, all the wildlife. Um, snowball. <laughs> I say wildlife. It's not really wildlife. <laughs> but everybody's, uh, I see, perked up and ready to Have eat some. Breakfast. Yeah, eat some food this morning. Well, these rabbits have completely demolished some garden scraps. Yeah. Like, there's nothing left. Snowball, especially, she demolished like a whole bunch. Huh, snowball? Here. Yeah, snowball. Hi, Jessica. Here you go. And Roger. Here you go. Hi, Roger. Because <laughs> I want that food. I know. You're going to get it right now, bro. <laughs> Here you go. I'm always last, he says. Always last. That's all right. Yeah. You still get to eat. It's true. Shouldn't complain too much. <laughs> He's not complaining. The chickens are the ones complaining. Yeah, look at the chickens. Both of all, both, both coops are all up against the fence, all walking back and forth. There you go, Mr. Rod. Please feed us. Mr. Rod. <laughs> I guess we could close that door now, huh? Yeah, I was gonna close it actually too. Yeah, because um, it's not so hot outside. Yeah. It's cooled off a lot. Yeah, I'll shut that right now. Listen, if you're wondering, somebody asked before, how come we feed the chickens the way I do when we have the automatic chicken feeder? Yeah, the big one. The big one. Well, I like to go in there sometimes and give them and, you know, I'll like rotate on that thing. Because it's not a big deal for me to go out there and feed them. Yeah. But then that thing's nice if we're leaving for like the weekend, you know, I put food in there and they have it. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, for the weekend while we're out and about and doing our thing. But, oh gosh, guys, the weather, like, today and, like, yesterday, oh, it's perfect. Like, um, I'm almost half tempted to pull some sweaters out and start wearing them. You know? That's what kind of weather is going on around here. What do you think? I don't need a sweater yet. <laughs> He's like, I don't need a sweater. <laughs> but me, I'm like... I don't need a sweater. Either. Yeah, I get kind of I get kind of chilly and stuff and it looks like really cloudy and kind of gloomy out today, you know? But uh I didn't see any rain for the day, so I don't think we'll get any rain like we did yesterday and it really didn't rain like a lot yesterday. It poured for that morning and then it went away. And then it made everything just nice and wet and perked all the grass and stuff back up. See my grass over there? It's growing again looking all green I had a bunch of grass that was growing here or I should say clover I had clover over here like it wasn't you know covered but more than there is now but it died it fried over the winter or the summer everything fried over the summer huh oh yeah big time yeah look at those guys they're so upset look at them look at them Water too, but they're all hurry up and get over here and feed me. <laughs> they're going crazy this morning. No, the smaller ones? No, the, the babies. Yours, these guys. They're just running back and forth and Alright. There you guys go. And they say it's about Rest time. Champions. I said, I've seen you walking by here several times this morning and never once stopped to feed us until now. I know. <laughs> I always make sure I put some feed, like, in the hay and all that stuff, too. Make sure they, can, they have to go find it. Yeah, know? yeah. I do the same thing, too, whenever I feed the chickens. I throw it all around in here in the straw and stuff so they have to, like, work for it. <laughs> I know that these chickens are not starving to death. We came out here yesterday and we were looking at the chickens and you know talking and stuff and their gullets are huge and <laughs> like well 
we know they ain't starving to death. They're so big, they're just big old balls right here on their chest because their gullets are so big. Eating so much. They are. Yeah. I see the babies mellowed out now. Oh, I yeah. shouldn't even say they're babies anymore because they don't look like babies, really. They're just no. miniature chickens now. They're doing good. Yep, they are doing very well. Um, we do, Jeff did come out here and... He's the biggest one. Yeah, that's a boy for sure. Yeah, he's a rooster. Yeah. Um, Jeff from You're Bobblehead uh, Homestead, he was out here last week and checking out our baby chicks and he was letting us know kind of what he was thinking as males and females. And what did he say? He thinks we have like, what, eight? Eight females right now? Yep. Which is perfect because um, uh, we need seven. I mean, we definitely needed seven to uh, kind of add to our main flock. And yeah. then, uh, I, you know, I don't know. We might end up if there's like, you know, if there there's, is. yeah, there's like eight or nine females in there. I'm sure we're going to end up keeping them all. We will. Yeah. All yeah. And uh, we'll take care of the males. Um, because we don't need any more males. We need to get some more females, though, because yeah. these poor ladies and... Um, we've lost like two of our main flock chickens this summer, Speckles and Bertha, I think it was. Um, so we got to replace those two that we lost and then we want to add more <laughs> for the boys. <laughs> Not because we need more eggs. We get plenty of eggs still. Um, they did kind of slow down a little bit though this summer, which I don't blame them. I wouldn't have been in that nesting box laying eggs. <laughs> too hot. Yeah, it's way too hot. And I actually, I think that's kind of what happened to one of our chickens. Um, she was broody. Bertha. Yeah, Bertha. And we tried really hard to break that of her, but I just it seemed like every time I go in there, she was sitting on eggs. And she'd even sit on the nest if there's nothing there. Yep. You and know. And when they do that, and drink like they should. Yeah, they don't come out and hydrate like they should, and. I think yep. I think she just Well, we found her in the coop dead. Yeah. In the coop. Yeah. So, that's I'm pretty sure that's what happened. She just she didn't drink enough water. Yeah, she just the heat and dehydration yeah. and just everything combined. Was too worried about sitting on eggs. Even though I told her don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need any more babies. And, and she was the biggest black copper moron hen. She yeah. was Yeah. You know, we got a new Bertha though. Yeah. That one over there is She's pretty big bottom girl. Yeah, she's uh oh she's over there behind Frank now, yeah. right there. Running with the site right there. Yep. She's a big girl. Yep, furry feet. So hopefully I mean no more that happens to it's getting cooler, like you said, the weather is absolutely perfect. Yeah. Like perfect weather. Yeah. So they're not gonna be overheating anymore, but Yeah, I think our summer heat wave days are done. <laughs> For and, this year. <laughs> and during that Arctic blast we had where it was like negative 30 wind chill, one degree outside, they did fine inside the coop. Oh, yeah. Even this coop, the boys at the time, um, there was a couple boys in there. They did fine. Yeah, and I think by the time winter really sinks in, um, the babies will be... Yeah, we're going to be moving them over here. Yeah, they'll be fully grown and... Yep. Well, not fully grown. We'll double check on... No, but we'll double check on the hens and put them in here at night. We'll move them over here when it's nighttime, put them up in there in the roosting bar, close yeah. the coop, and then leave the roosters over here the best we can. Hopefully it's not another A.A. Ron incident where we think it's a hen, but it's really a rooster. Well, the difference, I will say, the good thing is, at least this next go around when we move the chickens around, um, we'll get it early enough to where, you know, the men the boys and you know I think that was part of our problem we separated them a little too late so if you guys catch yeah, my drift they got I a taste want, of it I don't want that to happen so I'm gonna yeah. keep my close eyeballs on I still call them the baby chicks but on them <clears throat> ghost hey oh. leave Sylvia alone Sylvia. Well, I'm gonna keep my close eyeball on those ones and when they start getting frisky right if they do before it's time to move them in then that day, the first time I see it, then we're going to separate them. Yeah. Like right away. Yeah. So. 
uh, I'm not going to give them the opportunity. So. Yeah, and right now they're not. Um, no. They're still they're still little. Um, they do fight like the boys. You'll see like that's how you can kind of tell they're roosters because they fight each other in there. I'm like, oh, oh those two are definitely roosters. They're going at it. Plus, oh, yeah. plus they're struts, right? The struts of the roosters are so much different than the females. <laughs> struts, like the way they walk. Oh, when they're you know, they, yeah. yeah, they stick their legs out and they're all, you know, hardcore and stuff. <laughs> Strutting around the coop, you know? <laughs> yep, so we're walking around the past couple of days. We're trying to think we're going to be building something. We don't know where it should go. And we have all these ideas, and we're thinking, hmm, where should it go? Where should it go? Where should it go? And it's it's actually a really hard decision. Yeah, it is. Because once we build something there, it's there, you know. Yeah, well, and it won't be an easy task to really move it, and we want to make sure it's in a good spot for convenience factor. Yeah. You know. So I do, as you guys know, if you followed along before on our main channel, we've talked about it. And I think on this channel too, but this grass area right here, we want to keep open. Oh, can you fix it on? Yeah, sorry guys. There we go. This grass area right here, we want to keep open because we still plan on doing a canning room. Um, greenhouse. And a greenhouse, something along those lines. Mm -hmm. And this is the best spot for it, in my opinion. Yeah. We, we decided, me and Roxanne. Yeah. But what, else, what other thing that we're building, we need to put it somewhere where it's convenient and not out of the way. Yeah. Unless we want it out of the way. That's one of those things. Do we want it out of the way? Or do we not want it out of the way? Um, I think, I don't yeah, I think, like, two things to kind of think about is we need to make sure it's someplace flat. Right? Somewhat flat, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, as flat as we can, but nowhere here is perfectly flat. And we don't have a ton of rocks to make it flat. Like right here is pretty flat where the flat bit trailer's at. Yeah, right here. But I want to build my awning. Yeah. For like wood storage and stuff over here. So, I mean, that would be right in the way. So, hmm. Decisions. What do we do? What do we do? Yeah. It's not like we don't have this place, space to put the stuff or, you know, build whatever we want, wherever we want. It's just. Like Anthony said, and I mentioned too, it's a convenient factor. But um, we do have plenty of areas and stuff that we can figure it out. I mean, realistically, it doesn't matter where it goes. If it's long that somewhere around the house, it's not going to be that far of a walk. I know, but you know what I mean? You know what I mean. <laughs> I've even thought about putting where that corn thing's at in your garden. I know. That too. Yeah, we're still going to be expanding the garden. So hopefully next year when uh, it's garden seasoning. <laughs> garden seasoning. <laughs> yeah, Garden season, you know, springtime. Um, I'll have more garden beds and stuff so I can plant some more stuff. Now that doesn't mean I'm going to have stuff growing in every single garden bed, but I'm going to try, like I do every year, <laughs> to get all that done. You know? Sure. Yeah. Well, I think. That's all right, though. Yeah. I'm just happy it's such a nice day. It's so nice outside right now. It's like, very peaceful. The breeze and, and I the, just. And the dogs aren't even being loud. No, and like, just everything is so green again because of that rain yesterday. So it just. I mean, listen, guys. If you. Come on, ghost. I'm trying to like show them how quiet it is out here. And you want to make noise. <laughs> Dogs. Very quiet. Yeah, That's very, all I'm getting at. Yeah, <laughs> very <it> quiet. <laughs> Even with the dogs doing their thing. <laughs> Scratching themselves and barking and yeah. biting lips. That's what Ghost likes to do. Oh, use a lip biter for sure. Yeah, and <laughs> poor Jane and Maura, they'll get really mad at him. Oh, they're chasing after somebody. Michonne, probably. Michonne? I said Michonne, probably. Yeah, probably Michonne. She hangs out in the the tent still. Yes, he does. She does. She yeah. does, yeah. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she wasn't going really in there during the summertime, because I don't blame her. It was really hot inside no. the tent. 
Um, She's in there during the winter, though. Yeah, that's where they go during the winter time and stuff is inside the tent. And then last year we had that Arctic blast, so we had to pull all the animals inside because it was so cold outside. We had all the cats and the dogs and. <laughs> oh yeah, the whole herd. Yeah. <laughs> inside the house, but that was okay. We we had all the cats um, in one cage and then all the dogs in the other. Yeah, and we had. Um, uh, it was funny because we had them inside the house and our house was like still just drywalled it wasn't even like painted yeah but and... it was insulated it was yeah. warm yeah and there was like a little heater in there mm -hmm. for them so they could stay warm and stuff so i'm sure they appreciated it i'm sure they did and they're like oh man yeah thank you humans for yeah, not letting yeah. me freeze to death yeah i could sense that it was going to be very cold well we thought about putting them in the laundry room too remember yeah because that's insulated and it's a you know it's a room yeah but we had that other small cage that Jeff let us borrow. And I was like, you know what? Let's just put the dogs in this cage. The cats. We put all the cats. There was like, we had yep. Flower still. We had. Yeah, we had Shadow. Shadow. It was Midnight, Flower, Michonne. Um, shadow. Shadow. Flower. Flower. Twister. And, and Twister. Yeah. Yeah. Blue. And Blue. Seven cats in this <laughs> little cage. But you put them all in there. And it's just for when they're sleeping, right? They all loaf around and they get all comfy and they're all snug next to each other. So they didn't mind. Nah, they, they didn't, didn't mind care. at all. Yeah, they, they were happy. Yeah, and then we let them out in the morning and then that was it. So and that night, we, when it started getting darker, like, you know, so we didn't have to go search for them. Right when we see one, we snatch them up and put them in the cage. We're talking like right before, you know, dusk. Yeah. Um, and then we just slowly grab them all and I'd coax them over with a can. Yeah. Can. Who wants can. some food? And they all run and grab them all and put them in the cage. So yeah it was cool it, it was, was cool. cool yeah so i don't know we'll see what happens this year maybe a uh, arctic blast or no arctic blast i don't know i'm kind of curious to see how this winter is going to be but i'll tell you what guys this winter is going to be a lot different in a sense of our house is going to be nice and toasty warm because we won't be using those little space heaters That's right. yeah we got those mr cools that is right you know what though now it's because it is nicer we should probably like shut them off and like open the windows like air the house out i mean you can you know, I love opening windows, but I, I mean, the weather's got to be right. Because yeah. <laughs> it gets really hot inside the house very fast. We do that with Thunderdome all the time. We just keep the doors and windows open. Yeah. Turn the AC off in there. Mm -hmm. Like right now. Like I'm telling you guys, it's probably, it's, it's probably not even 70 degrees right now. Probably not. It's probably like 69 degrees, maybe 70. Yeah, it's something perfect. like that. So, yeah, that's nice to do. But, I mean, you can just open the windows. I don't know. I just, I don't want the house to get too hot and then... I know the run all kinds of power to cool it back I know, and the air conditioning has got to work a little harder. Well, man, what do you got? Or something. What do you got? A sock. <laughs> Where'd you find that sock at? Poor Lily, and you finding socks. <sighs> Midnight. All right, well, we're going to get busy, guys. Yes. We got things to do. Some things we, got, we need to finish. We got placements to find of where we're going to put this thing so yeah, and this might take longer than actually putting building no. it no oh, this thing's going to take a while so. i know i just no can't. no sock for you ghost you go put lillian found it <laughs> stay safe guys stay motivated yes have a great great day today yeah and we will catch you guys all tomorrow bye 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 guys